Hey Scorpio, this is your October 2020 reading. I'm Ellison with the Modern Day Sage and let's jump into your reading. <laughs> All right, Scorpio. What are the messages for Scorpio in the month of October? Mm, Scorpio, I feel like a calmness that's coming over you. Like you're feeling more grounded and stable. If you're not feeling this way just yet, um, Scorpio, ooh, give it some time. By the end of October, I feel like you're going to be in a different vibe. Right now, your energy feels a little complicated, but I do see like some spiritual intervention coming in, you know, to put you at ease, it feels like. We have an emotional situation here. <clears throat> This looks to be going very, very, very positive right now. You see yourself like moving forward in this situation, whatever this um, emotional situation is. I feel like this is like a situation that may have been kind of like a thorn in your side. But it's like now um, that that particular beast is tamed and it's bringing you much desired um relief emotionally even when it comes to your creativity scorpio i feel like you're able to tap in a little bit deeper so scorpio like you have like some emotional release you released emotionally. Or are releasing. And is bringing you your Ace of Wands. A renewed passion for life. For that particular situation. For that creative project. It's just a new breath of fresh air for the month of October. Oh, <laughs> we wasn't gonna try to make it a love reading, but hey, <laughs> we got the lover's card here, harmony, <laughs> okay? So this emotional situation is a love situation, you know? <laughs> the reason why I'm laughing is because, you know, Ain't no telling, like, who's going to watch this Scorpio reading. So, everybody's situation isn't the same. But I strongly felt a relationship with this emotional, you know, um, energy here. But Spirit was like, go ahead and say it. And so, it is what it is. It's a love relationship. You are feeling renewed. There is a renewal of passion towards someone. Someone that you deeply, deeply, deeply love. Deeply. <laughs> In the belly <laughs> of your being. And you're realizing that with this situation, with this person, you know, there's no rush because you already see it. You know, this connection is what it is. You already know it. So you're taking on that energy of like, I am not rushing with this. I am taking my time. And that's what's bringing you the relief because you're just allowing things to unfold naturally with this person. And I feel like it's going to be beautiful. This is someone that you deeply, deeply care about. Like your heart is like, 
<sighs> I accept this. <laughs> like, you know, there's a transformation in your heart space. And we have a star card here. Hope. This situation has hope. It has hope and you know it. So that's why you're not going to force anything. <laughs> yeah. Spirit is funny. Whatever grief that you had in your heart, Scorpio, it's like that grief was transformed through some type of, as I mentioned, as I, I, as I mentioned, some type of spiritual intervention took place here that renews your passion, renews your passion. And you have the strength to move forward. You have the strength to continue forward. Yeah, perseverance. I think I said that. Persevere. I did say that. I did. So, yeah. Like, I didn't want to make this a love reading, but this is most definitely a love situation. I'm going to get one more card. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. So, you know, it's a new day and you have been receiving some type of signs from spirit that this is the person, you know, that you can relax with. So, Scorpio, I hope this reading resonates. Please let me know in the comments. And if you want to book a reading with me, my information is in the description box below. Until next time, peace. <laughs>